Hello friend, welcome to Engineering Adda. Today we see how the support moment for the continuous beam is determined by using Kani's method when the any support it sinks. In this question, it is given that support B is sinks by 2.5 mm. So let's solve it. First of all, we have two value for I and E. Let convert it into the proper unit that is meter to the power 4 and kilo to the meter square. By multiplication of these two, we get this EI equals to 700 kN meter square. As from our last video, we know that the fixed end moment is the first step for solving the Kani's method. As for span AB, fixed end moment from A to B is minus WL square by 12. That's for span AB, fixed end moment from A to B is WL square by 12. So we get minus 30 kN meter. And for Fix and movement from B to E is WL square by 12, which is 30 kN meter. Similarly, for span BC, fix and movement from B to C as the point load is acting at the center, that's a PL by 8, which is negative because the movement here acting is anti clockwise direction. So, while putting value, we get minus 25 kN meter. Also, the fix and movement from C to B is same because the point load is acting at the center so directly we get 20 kN meter for span CD the fixed end moment from D to C is minus WL square by 12 because the UDL is acting between C and D that's why we get the minus 37.5 kN meter here the value for the fixed end moment from C to D and for fixed end moment from D to C is WL square by 12 which we get 37.5 kN as now moving towards our second step so in this question just the settlement of support B is given that's why just because of due to settlement of support the fixed end movement is created so which is given as just because of due to settlement the fixed end movement at AB is given as minus EI del 1 by L1 square here the del 1 is nothing but the settlement that he has given the support B is sinks by 2.5 this 2.5 is nothing but the del 1 just put this value here that is minus 6 into EI what we calculated here 7000 in bracket 2.5 here I multiply with 10 to the power minus 3 because in this question 2.5 is given in mm so i are here by multiplying with 10 to the power minus 3 directly convert into meter by l square so this is distance we get fixed end movement from a to b and fixed end movement from b to a equals to minus 11.67 kN meter here just notice that what the fixed end movement at this end is equal to fixed end movement at this end because for the both support the settlement that is del 1 is same that is value of 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 is same that's why the fixed end movement from a to b equals to fixed end movement from b to a which we get minus 11.67 kN meter now for the span bc as i represent here b support sinks that's why this is del here this is del so for that fixed end movement from b to c equals to fixed end movement from c to d which is equals to 6 into er into settlement that is we calculated here and length square here the for bc span length is 2 that were 2 square we get 26.25 kN meter now moving toward our third step that is rotational factor as from our last video we know how to calculate the rotational factor the rotational factor in this term is this that is u equals to minus half of k by summation of k this term is nothing but the rotational factor as we know how to calculate this just multiply k by summation of k is minus half we get the rotational factor here as the support all support are fixed that's why i by l i by l i by l here summation of at the joint and summation at the joint c so directly we get minus 0 0.2 
minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 and minus 0 0.2 as a rotational factor for BA, BC, CD and C, CD respectively. Now moving towards our third step and the main step that is cycle, iteration. So this is just the diagrammatically representation of this movement what we calculated. So cycle 1. Let proceed to cycle 1. Hmm? For joint B, it is M dash B A equals to U B A in bracket M F B plus summation of M dash A B plus summation of M double dash of A B. So it is the rot M dash of A B is nothing but the rotational contribution from B to A. Here it is the rotational contribution from B to A. U is rotational factor. What we calculated here, this is rotational factor for BA this is minus 0 0.2 so BA is minus 0 0.2 this is the rotational factor and MFB is nothing but the sum of the fixed end movement at the joint B so some uh, this is summation of M dash AB this is nothing but the rotation sum of the rotational stiffness of far end and this is the settlement if you don't get exactly meaning what this term means so please see our last video i explain all this term with the full detail in my last video so directly would mfb is nothing but the fixed end movement from b to a and b to c this is the rotational contribution from far end that is from a b and c b and this is the sum of the rotation uh, sum of the settlement here M double dash AB is the settlement from A to B and M double dash of CD is the settlement from C to B. Here what we calculated here. This, this is the settlement movement. So directly put all value. Here we know MFBA is 30. MFBC is minus 25. What, we, what I represent here the value of fixed end movement at the upper side of the beam. So this is m dash ab plus m dash bc as a is a fixed support it does not contribute any well that's and uh, as you because of just due to of this is first iteration m dash of cd is zero and m double dash of ab and m double dash of cd what we calculated earlier just because of due to settlement of support while putting all value we get the rotational contribution from B to A is nothing but minus 3.92. Now moving towards rotational contribution from B to C. So it is U B C same formula what we use here just here the rotational factor is changed because span is changed. Here for the rotational contribution from B to C that's a rotational factor for B to C and all formula is same that is MFB because we considering this moment at joint B that was MFB plus sum of the rotational contribution from far end and the sum of the settlement from the far ends. So directly we put all the value here just the rotational factor is changed we get rotational contribution from B to C is minus 5.87. Similarly for joint C M dash C B equals to UBC just the rotational factors change span change and everything is similar with this type of formula just you put the value and get the answer it is as simple so M dash CB equal nothing but minus 2.36 we get after solving this and similarly for M dash CD which is the rotational contribution from C to D it is UBC it is rotational factor just here change the span because we are considered CD this rotational factors change all remaining are same okay so directly we get M double dash of CD equals to minus 1.576 so we have to perform just two to three cycles just to make this difference in 0 0.08 mm okay so I perform here second cycle similarly like this and uh, also third cycle now moving toward our final step that is the final moment 
for span BC this is the formula for calculating the final movement at AB this formula I also explained in my last video if you don't get the exact meaning of this term please view my last video so MAB is a movement from A to B is this MFAB is fixed movement from A to B plus phi is the rotational contribution from far end plus rotational contribution sorry this is rotational contribution from nearer end means self and this is the rotational contribution from far end and m double dash ab is nothing but the settlement so just put all the value we get mab is nothing but minus 25.07 kilo newton meter similarly for this that is movement from b to a is fixed moment from b to a plus twice the rotational contribution from self end as rotational contribution from far end and this is nothing but the settlement so just directly put all value we get this answer that is mba is nothing but 11.53 kN meter so by using this similar procedure we are able to find out the movement from b to c and movement from c to d and also movement from c to d and movement from d to c so it is very simple to calculate the movement by using Kani's method and this is the diagrammatical representation of this contribution factor what we calculated here in this diagram form and this is the rotational factors and this mfb here mfb it is 30 minus 25 u equals to 5 and this is mfc thank you